Frontiers Radio. Welcome to another episode of Frontiers Radio. Today I'm going to share with you a story that I found myself telling my kids a few nights ago, and I believe is worth retelling here, especially in the current anxious climate surrounding the coronavirus. Once a king summoned all his wise men and asked them, is there a mantra, a suggestion, or a line that I should remember that would apply in every situation, every circumstance, in every sorrow, and in every joy? Tell me, what will it be? All of the wise men were public. They became worried, as they couldn't come up with something for such a strange request. They pondered for a long time without any progress. Finally, a soft-spoken elder suggested something. But he demanded that they would write it down on a piece of paper, and the king was not to see it immediately. Only in extreme danger, when the king finds himself alone and there seems to be no way, only then he could see it. The king puts the paper under his diamond ring. Years pass and the kingdom came under attack. The king's army fought bravely, but defeat was inevitable given the strength and size of the enemy. The king fled on his horse And looking back, he saw the ruins. He couldn't believe his eyes. As he stopped his horse, sobbing in defeat, he suddenly saw the diamond ring shining in the sun. And he remembered the message hidden in the ring. He opened the diamond and read the message. The message read, This too shall pass. The king read it. He read it again, again, and again. Suddenly, it struck him. Indeed, this too will pass. Only a few days ago, I was enjoying my kingdom. I was the mightiest of all the kings. Yet today, the kingdom and all his pleasure was gone. I'm here trying to escape from enemies, like those days of luxuries have gone. This day of danger too will pass. A calm came over his face. He stood there for a long time. Suddenly the road where he was standing was full of natural beauty. He had never known that such a beautiful place was also part of his kingdom. Even though he is now a king without a kingdom, the revelation had a profound calming effect on him. He stopped on his tracks and contemplated for a long time. Courage entered his heart. He reorganized his remaining troops and fought again. He defeated the enemy in days to come and regained his empire. When he returned to his empire after the victory, he was received with much fanfare. The whole capital was rejoicing in the victory. Everyone was in a festive mood. Flowers were being showered on the king from every house, from every corner. People were dancing and singing. Rejoice. In that moment, the king said to himself, I am one of the bravest and greatest king. It is not easy to defeat me. See how I overcame defeat. Amidst the celebration, his eagle was emerging. Suddenly, the diamond on his ring flashed in the sunlight and reminded him of the message. He opened it and read it again. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. His face fell flat. Suddenly, beyond his ego, beyond his self, his eyes gazed to the crowd and he looked at his people, men, women and children, young and old. He realized, deep in his bones, regardless of good or bad times, 
His true purpose was to serve them well. For the first time, the king is truly alive. As mentioned earlier at the start of this podcast, and this is being recorded on the 27th of March, 2020, all around the world, all of us are facing precarious and unprecedented times. So it's so important that we also remain grateful to especially the healthcare workers, as many of you would have seen in your social media feeds. But particularly, I think we need to be grateful for the people who at the front desk lab technicians, the cleaners, you know, these people do such a thankless job. And if you know any of these people, or if you come across them, please just go up to them, maintaining the necessary social distance, but just say a word of thank you, just to say thank you to them, because they are really doing something really important in our society, in all our countries around the world. And I recall uh, sometime in 2003 or four, during the SARS outbreak in Singapore, it was such a huge thing. And I remember just watching the cleaners come in and out of our clinics and offices and public spaces and just cleaning, you know, just doing the very simple deed and simple task, but so important, so important of what they're doing that we need to be thanking them. You know, healthcare workers, doctors, nurses, and all the rest of the allied health and other teams surrounding that, they have to worry about what they do and to to also keep healthy. But at the same time, there's also an unspoken worry about their families, their loved ones back home. And I think, you know, we need to show appreciation to them. Second, when we are out of isolation, when all of this comes to a pass, because this too shall pass, please support your local community. Support the shops around you, be it the cafes or the restaurants that you frequently visit. And I got this idea from uh, the accounting software that I use, the CEO behind FreshBooks, and they are not (laughs) sponsors. This has been sponsor-free, but he gave a really good idea that I want to share with you, which is pre-order. Just maybe a gift card or just go up to them and say, look, I'm just going to pay, I don't know, $100 to $200 beforehand because since you're going to patronize their businesses anyway, and this might help to bolster their business and even give a boost of morale to them. So I know it doesn't have a huge impact, but I think every if everyone does something like this, it's all going to count. It's all going to count. Lastly, there is a free access to the audiobook right now, all the way leading up to the 12th of April, 2020, which is Easter Day. Because I own the rights to the book First Kiss, I'm going to give the audiobooks out there, out to you guys for free. If you just go to my website at darylchow.com and look up for books, You could see there, there is a first case book. Select the option for audiobook and key in the following promo code at checkout. Safe April, S-A-F-E, April, A-P-R-I. One word, all small caps, safe April. And you get the entire audiobook of first kiss for free and narrated by yours truly. I hope it's pleasant to your ears, but... I think this is the least we could do if you need something to think about in your work. Um, I hope you enjoy it and leave us a comment about what you think about the book as well. And second part of this is also that the Deep Learner course kicks off on 30th of March. If you haven't heard about it, go to darylchow.com. My name is D-A-R-Y-L-C-H-O-W.com slash courses. C-O-U-R-S-E-S, darylchild.com. And you could see one option on this course that we've created. The fundamental idea is to help you to become a better learner, to become a deep learner, where you can extend your mind and harness wisdom and all that you consume and learn as you go, but also to create what we would call 
a second brain, an idea that I've brought from Tiago Forte, which is to be able to capture learnings and apply them whenever it's called upon in your clinical practice. And I take you through all the best learning principles that I've learned through readings across the years, but also gelling with deliberate practice ideas that we have talked about together with my co-authors, Scott Miller and Mark Hubble, which in May 26th this year, the book's going to be released called Better Results. And on that note, if you've pre-ordered and you have not sent us the receipt, send us your e-receipt because we're going to give you a whole bunch of free gifts. And uh, the gifts, as we count them, they add up to nearly twice the value of the cost of the book. A footnote to consider is to, for you to know is that Scott, Mark, and I have worked really hard with the American Psychological Association, APA, which is the publisher of the book, to reduce the cost of the book as far as we can. So they have kindly uh, worked with us and collaborated with us to make it as low as possible compared to other professional books that's out there that's been released by APA. Some of the freebies you'll be getting are related to the book. You get a workbook companion that comes with it only for those people who do a pre-release for now. There's also going to be other secret releases that we're giving you. Uh, one of them, uh, though it's not going to be secret right now, but it's going, to, it's going to be the fit manuals. There's going to be six of them that we're going to give you for free, plus other eBooks too. So stay tuned. Just send your e-receipts to us. For now, you can send it to info at darylchild.com info at darylchild.com. And in the weeks coming, we'll be sending you that. And oh, before I forget, APA is also kindly, if you are purchasing this book in advance, you would get uh, to to have access to, to the manuscript. And we're going to give you early access to read the book before it comes out on May 26th. Thank you for tuning in to Frontiers Radio. I really appreciate you. I wish you, your loved ones, precious care. Take care of each other during these times. If any questions, thoughts, email them to me at info at and I will read all of them. Bye for now.